Hey kids, Mr. Watson back here again. Um, looking at uh, the first three edits we do to an image in Photoshop. And those are crop, levels, and curves. So once you've got your image open in Photoshop, open it from Bridge. First, do your crop if you're going to do any. So select the crop tool on the left hand side. Choose a standard crop tool and then do any of the cropping you're going to do. I'm going to crop this a little closer. I'm going to crop this a little closer and I'm going to take just those folks there okay? and select my crop area. Hit enter to select it and then once you've selected your crop go back to the move tool in the upper left so that we don't have a problem with our crop. Now also it's kind of small so I'm going to zoom in. Use control plus to zoom in. Control minus to zoom out. So control, control plus, I'm going to zoom in. When I look at my image here, it's a little bit bright. And there are two adjustment layers that we want to put on whenever we create an image. So the first one is here on the right in the adjustment layers section. And we want to choose levels. When we click on levels, we can see this mountain looking thing, which is called a histogram, which shows us where the different levels of color or brightness are in our image. So we want to take the black button here and set it to where the blacks start and we want to put the whites to where the whites start and then do the grays to taste. So for the blacks we want to take this triangle here at the bottom and we want to move it over to where the blacks start. So once we get to that point we can decide oh I want a little bit more black in there so I'm going to scoot over just a little bit more to where it really starts to rise up. I'm going to say that's the point I have a true black somewhere in my image and that's great. Uh, when we look at the whites, we already have a white there. So we kind of want to leave it where it is it, to see what it does. If we move it to the right, you can see it adds more white. We don't want to add any more white. We've got enough. And then take the mid-range, the gray triangle, and move it either to the bright side or the dark side to change how much gray or how much middle room is in our image. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the grays. When we create that layer, we've got the layer here just above our picture. If we want to look at what a picture was like before we did that, if we come to the eyeball here on the layer that we created for levels, we turn it off and we can see that's what our picture looks like previously. Now with our first change, we can say we've already enhanced it quite a bit. Not only does our image have better color, better contrast, but uh, it also appears to get a little bit sharper because it doesn't have that grayish background kind of look with it. Okay, so that's our first one. Levels. To close levels, go here to this double arrow in the upper right and that moves it over to the side and then go back to our adjustments group and choose curves. When we choose curves, it puts another layer on top of our image and we have this straight line here. You want to set two points on your line as a starting point. So if you click down here to the lower left and you click once to the upper right, now you've set a dark area and a light area to do our curves adjustment. If you go to that mark you just created on the bottom section and move it at a diagonal, you can, slowly you can see that the amount of darkness in our image changes one way or another. We still have a black somewhere and a white somewhere, but we're changing some tones in between. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to leave that pretty close to where it is. I'm going to change my brights a little bit up in this section and I'm going to move one way and we can see that takes a little bit of the bright up there and that adds a little bit more. So we can do either way. For this picture since it's a JPEG we want to be careful how much we move it because we don't want it to get too weird. So when we go quick then we can see that their face tones are changing and we're adding some weird red colors in there. We want to avoid that. We want to have our picture look the best that it can. We are not doing a special effect. And that I think looks pretty good right there. Then we have our two sections. To see what it looks like without the layers, go back to or the curves, go back to the eyeball, turn that off, turn it on. You can see the subtle changes we made. Uh, and we can go back to the levels and turn that off. And we put both of them back on and we can see how our picture looks different. Close up our curve section over here. And then when we go to save our picture, because we have layers on it now, we have two options. We go to File, Save As, and we choose a format. We're either going to choose the Photoshop or PSD format or, from the drop-down box, choose TIFF. Either one. Make sure, though, whichever one you choose, TIFF or PSD, 
that it has the .psd at the end, the tag. If PSD for uh, Photoshop document or TIF, it's if it's a TIFF document. Once we have that, give it a uh, specific name. So I'm going to change that to Homecoming Edited. Okay. Saved it as a PSD. I click Save and then there it goes. Now I have my image saved and it says here at the top Homecoming Edited.psd and we can find it. Those are the first three changes that we'll make to any image that we put in Photoshop.